I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. <laughs> 2018 Nissan Micra. S, base model, under $10,000 Canadian. There is no AC. There's no power windows. We're sweating. There's no power locks and it's manual adjustment mirrors. We don't have cruise control. We don't have buttons on the steering wheel. We've got a CD, FM, AM, and AUX. That's it. It's pretty cool though. It is pretty cool. I am thoroughly enjoying sweating in here. For an under $10,000 car, there's nothing wrong with it. $9,998. It's a stick shift. You're engaged the whole time. There's nothing to distract you. It's kind of like the Kia Rio and the Honda Fit Sport but like way more bare bones. Yes, exactly, and like I, way more. And I appreciate them for that. I know, so do I. And you know what's cool? What? They race these. Yeah, the Micra Cup. So Nissan puts on this series in Canada called the Micra Cup. They literally will sell you one of these as a race car for around $20,000. And then you race them. Yeah, you race them in a series. It's a spec series, so everyone has the same car and it's all up to the driver. That's it, it's amazing. One of the other journalists we know, Brian Max, he was the guy who drove through everyone while they were crashing and flipping over. That was some of the best racing footage I've seen in a long time. My life. Nissan wants to give you guys some tickets, so stick around to the end of the video. Cliche corner, you know how I love my Econo boxes here. Econo send, oh my God, there is so much body roll. <laughs> I think we need to lean to the right. This is this yeah. is one of those go-kart go things. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. I would love to race this car. I would absolutely love to race this car. Nissan, sponsor Yuri and Jacob for Micro Cup. That's the only- Please. That's the only thing we'll take from the manufacturer. Yes, I will flat out take that. Just like one season in the Micro Cup. Each. Each, yeah. Two separate cars, we get to race each other, and Yuri versus Jacob, that's it. Okay, let's get back to what this is. Wait, I think I would be a really good racing driver. Yeah, I, yeah. I just want to put that out there. Yeah, we'll see. But anyways. What is this? There's nothing really wrong with it once you know what it is. Exactly. It doesn't have a reverse camera. No, it doesn't. But you don't need one. It's everything's so visible, you can see everything. You look over your shoulder, you can see whatever it is. I believe the reverse camera will be mandatory next year, so we might actually have one for the same price. We'll yeah. see. But then they gotta incorporate it into the mirror, maybe, because then they're gonna have to add infotainment screen. Yeah, that's too expensive. This may be the only time you get a ten thousand dollar micro. That's true. This doesn't have nice rims. It <laughs> no, has hubcaps. It has hubcaps. This yep. is what they look like. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what hubcaps are, they go over steel rims. I bet you there's a lot of viewers, our younger viewers, who don't know anything about old school cars for sure so roll up windows here we go there's no buttons you have to roll you have to actually physically roll it and if i want to roll down that window i need to lean over while driving and do that yeah to unlock that door i need to click to unlock it let's see if i can roll down the back window this is what i have to do to roll down the back window and for audio i'm gonna roll it back up Ugh. the struggle is real and it's really amazing it brings you back to like what cars used to be. Yeah, exactly. But if you think about an 80s Fox body Mustang, it probably had the same as this, if not less. Probably less. You know what this has that those cars didn't? What's that? When you hit the signal blinker, you can do a soft click for three flashes. <laughs> think about that. A lot of cars <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. have that. That's true. This also has your average fuel economy over the kilometers you've driven and your instant fuel economy. And a trip meter. But my Honda Element doesn't have that three click thing. This has an intermittent windshield washer. Yeah. My Honda Element doesn't have this. <laughs> And then my Honda Element also doesn't show the average fuel and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So this, this has actually a lot of... has stuff that my Honda Element doesn't. Well, your Honda Element is garbage, but we did know that. Yeah, whatever. We probably mentioned it already, but there there is no AC. There's a blank switch for the AC where it would have been, but there's no AC. Yo, for under 10 grand, I don't even mind. Exactly, under 10 grand. Because you only need it when it gets past like 26 degrees Celsius. Uh, maybe 24. Before that, with the windows down, it's fine. Depends on humidity. It's really hot in here. Yeah. Like and really I, hot. But it's worth it because this is it's, actually it's so, so worth it. to drive. Yeah. This is sitting in my parking garage and there's another car there. You know which one I grab every time? This one. This. Because it's fun to shift, drive around town, scoot around like a little go-kart. I just want to race this car all the time. It's really, really fun to drive. Speaking of fun to drive, we should probably mention the horsepower. Hit him. Triple digits. Triple. 109 and 107. Adequate. Completely adequate. I want to talk about some more crazy things about it being $10,000. Go for it. That's there, the whole point of this. There is no panel in the back in the trunk. No, that it's is pretty funny. Painted metal. Yes. So let's go into a box test. All right, box test. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was thoroughly impressive. That was amazing. I'm very impressed. Rex test. Ready, buddy? Up. Rex, up. Yes, good boy, buddy. Good boy, Rex. And obviously my dog fits. Because the car is amazing. Visor test. 
I would do it, but uh. you know who did it for us? The guy who won the Vincero watch. Check this out. All right, we've got Yan, our watch winner. Let's do a visor test in the micro. Send it. Go. Test. Yo, show the watch though. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ah. Oh, oh. Three, two, one. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Not even a mirror. No. These there are the cheapest is no visors. mirror on this visor. Yeah. That's how cheap this car is, but it's fine. But it has visors. It has That's visors. a pass on this price. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cheapest visor test pass because it's a fail, but under the price it still passes. I spoke about adjustable manual mirrors. Yeah. People may not know what that is. There's a physical connection to a wire and that's how you adjust what you see. Yuri, if I wasn't here, how would you adjust this one? I would adjust, check, adjust, check, adjust, check. I'm happy with it. It is the funniest thing ever. If you're a kid and you don't have money for a car, get your parents to buy you this. Yeah. They'll have a good time laughing at you yes. and you'll learn something. And it'll be safe as well. And I think it should be mandatory for every journalist to spend a week in this. I was just going to say that everyone, I don't even think it's just journalists, like every person should drive a base model of this once in their life. Because these are going to be gone soon. Everyone's going to have safety this and safety that, and mandatory this and mandatory that. Okay, and in the back seat, you've got plenty of room. Yeah. Shockingly, I do. Not exactly for my knees, but for headroom, it's actually decent. I mentioned before that yeah. it doesn't have any power locks. No, it does not. So you've got a normal key, no power locks. You know what that means? What? If somebody comes, you need to unlock from the inside. When you leave your car, you need to check every single door to make sure the car is locked. Because when you open the trunk... That's right. There's, you need to put the key in, unlock it to open it, close it, and then lock it. That's the funniest thing ever. So it's pretty easy to leave cars open and like get stuff stolen if you forget. And this is how you learn to become a gentleman. So, gentlemen, for the ladies, if you're driving, you have to open this passenger door. You have to unlock it. So it's better to open it from the outside and then walk around, old school style. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I really want to be on the Micro Cup series, though. Let's start your practice right now. Send it. <laughs> there's, no, there's no send. There's no send. <laughs> Mr. Micro Cup, what kind of seats are you sitting in right now? I don't even know. Canadian Tire budget cover seat material. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are actually like straight up nylon or something. In the in the summer, it is so hot and sweaty and gross. It's oh. like. These seats should be illegal. It is disgusting. But like also whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bucks. They are below cloth. They say they're cloth, but they are below cloth. Okay, if we're in the micro cup, give me a full send. Here we go. Downshift. Full send. I mean, this is it, man. Like this is it. Yeah, but if there was like 20 of you. Exactly. It would be so much fun. Next micro cup test. Brakes. Brakes are amazing. Hit and I'm going to stop on them right now. ABS. There's actually ABS in this car. We've got drum brakes in the back. Yeah, we do. But it doesn't matter. I never said the brakes are amazing. I said it stops fast. That's right. As I did say, it does brake amazing. Perhaps you did. I don't know, whatever. It stops very well. It actually does. And the only other thing that the Micro Cup cars get is upgraded brake pads, same brakes though. Speaking of the Micro Cup, because I'm really excited about it, it costs approximately $40,000 to run a season, including the car. How crazy is that? That's amazing. I know, for racing, like that's actually amazing. Enough about the power because there is none. The suspension is the funniest thing ever. If you're thinking about it like a car that has to handle, sure. But if you're thinking of it as an econo box to get from point A to point B on a budget, do you think you're legally allowed to use this as an Uber? Uh, probably not. Because that's a pretty quick way to get all your money back. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true, actually. Well, imagine getting picked up in this and be like, oh, no. <laughs> be like, are you kidding me? Oh, no, I don't want to decline this. <laughs> we'll roll down those windows. <laughs> There's tons of body roll, like tons of body roll. The steering is actually amazing. There's lots of slop. You can tell that the bushings throughout the car are very loose. They're very rubbery, but the steering is better than the Subaru Legacy. I will put this out there. It's actually better than that because I know what my wheels are doing. You know why, man? I love, I have a great time driving this car. Any little Econa box with a stick shift is amazing. Okay, so the stick shift, it's a five speed, not a six. That's right. The Kia Rio had a six and the Honda Fit had a six. That's right. But this is a five to save cost and it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, it feels like fantastic. It's super loose, super floppy, but you still know what gear you're in. It's not like, it, this shakes less than the STI shifter. Yes, it does. Currently, while it's driving, it does not shake, unlike the STI shift. And I feel like this has a better heel-toe position than the Kia Rio or the Honda Fit. I completely agree. Heel-toe is actually amazing in this car. Driving this car at 11 tenths, no, no, 12 tenths is so fun because you kind of have to. And another thing, you guys complaining, Yuri and Jacob are always driving luxury cars. Yeah. Why are they always driving luxury cars? Get back to your roots. 
Drive cars people can afford. Yo, we're driving one. Guess what? This is the cheapest car money can buy brand new. And if this doesn't get more views and likes and subscribers than the GT2 RS video. You guys have failed us. You guys have failed the straight pipes as fans. You better share the crap out of this video. This needs to be our number one rated video of all time. Share it with everybody you know. Everybody that doesn't even have the internet, make them sign up for internet. Or we're only doing exotics and luxury cars after this. That's right, this is your fault if this video does not do well. I'm sorry. <laughs> this video's not gonna do that well, <laughs> but I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. So much fun that I'm gonna send it into cliche. Heel toe into second and send. That is full horsepower. The most fun per dollar. Okay, but yeah, per dollar because yeah. the Miata is like five times. Yeah, the price. and this runs, so it's a car that you can get per dollar. So it's the cheapest car, and cars are fun for ten thousand dollars Canadian. Exactly. Americans, sorry, you can't even get this car. Yeah, come up here and import it. That's after right. After twenty-five years, maybe. Yeah, or right. buy a micro cup car, twenty grand. Hey Yuri, we've been so excited about everything. We should probably touch on the looks a little bit. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't look bad. Consider, it doesn't. Considering it's a ten thousand dollar car, the styling is pretty decent. When you look at it from the front, the hood lines are pretty good. The headlights look amazing. They're not LED or anything, but no. they still like the shape of them is way better than anything from back in the day. It is a step above adequate. And on the roof, we've got this cool pattern. That is the funniest thing ever that we didn't notice until we climbed on top of a rock. I think the funniest thing ever is the side view of this car and you driving it. Yeah, that's true actually. Oh, another thing I love, love, love about this car. If you roll down the windows, it has the most perfect elbow position while driving. Because it's old school. And, All yeah. old school cars have the perfect elbow position for driving. And you're sitting higher up, like, it's great. I'm sitting so high up. That's actually my biggest complaint. I wish it was a little bit lower. So with race buckets, absolutely perfect. Micro Cup. Oh, we are ready, Nissan. We are so ready for the Micro Cup. Okay, I got a question for you. Go for it. Do you like the gauges? I love them. Crystal simple. clear. Very simple. Crystal clear. No nonsense. And there's just like an empty thing on the right where lights show up. <laughs> that is one of the funniest that's things perfect. ever. That's perfect. It's so funny though. It's just like this extra cluster part that's not actually clustered, but it has all your warning lights. Yeah. It doesn't have rewinding satellite radios, but I don't care. I got my aux cord and it's got a CD player so I can play my Rob Tardic CD. One of our fans gave us the CD. It's pretty good. He came to our subscriber meetup and he gave us hot sauce too. And then I've also got Dance Mix 95 permanently loaded in here because you never know. When you need some dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> We don't have Android Auto, we don't have a screen, we don't have Apple CarPlay, we don't have any of that stuff. And it's completely fine. But you know what Nissan actually included in this model? What? A drum machine. All hard plastics everywhere! Just play a beat, man. Since we're driving around in the summer, there are a lot of bikers on the road, a lot around Cliche Corner. Tons! People seem to like some of our camera angles through Cliche Corner. I'm gonna attach the camera to the front and you're gonna chase me on my road bike. All right. We'll see who's faster. I'll have some fun. Cutscene. And look who we have here. I can tell you how fast Yuri is going right now on his stupid bicycle that's pretty wobbly. About 60 kilometers per hour. It's not bad actually. <laughs> look at this clown. This guy is actually such a clown. He calls me a clown, but I'm definitely not the clown. Look at this guy. And he's gotta get off because I think his chain is broken. The chain fell off. Well, that proves nothing. There we go. And uh, I guess you should just get a car, don't get a bicycle. Back to the video. By the way, this does fit a bike. It actually does. That's fantastic. Yeah. It could probably fit at least five more bikes. You sure about that? Dead sure. And now for the Nissan Micro Cup tickets. There is a Nissan Micro Cup race in Quebec and Ontario. If you want to win those tickets, leave a comment below. Yuri, what should they say? I want to see Yuri and Jacob race in the Micro Cup. Leave that comment. Hopefully we will actually race. Maybe not this year, but leave that comment and you will be entered into that contest. And just so you know, if you spell Jacob wrong, your entry does not count. Yeah. J-A-K-U-B. There are rules, guys. There are rules. This is an official contest. That's right. So we know the price is under 10,000 Canadian. Yes, 9998. This, the Kia Rio or the Honda Fit? I'm going with this because of the price. I like the Honda Fit more, but I don't think it's double the price, double the car. I like the features from the Kia Rio the most, but I just, like, I can't justify an extra six grand-ish compared to this. I would really like AC so I could stop sweating. That's the only complaint I have. No, no, that's that's too richy. Yeah, I guess so. That's All right, true. so if you like the Nissan Micra, leave a comment, subscribe, notification bell, Patreon, sponsor button. Everything. Hit yeah. the like button too. And don't complain that we don't do affordable cars. This better be our number one video in a month. This buys us at least 10 or 15 supercars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Later, guys. See ya. At the microcut. <laughs> I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive.
description break. Don't subscribe. forget to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. We didn't even. We didn't do that.